Yo, this is R3. Um, I'm here to review Bulls Audio. Bulls Audio. Um, Extreme Twisted, Ultra Flexible, O2 Freeze, um, 1 over 0, American Wire, Power Cable. Well, this looks like, um, not copper. Oh. Well, kind of does, I think it's like coated, if you look at it, it's, I, I say it's aluminum, um, I just bought this, it's 35 feet for, no, 25 feet for $35, this is my Memphis, do you see it's like smaller, smaller than it, it's 4 gauge, this is copper, And it's the same. So with these guys. This is like 20 feet for like 80 bucks. The Memphis Connection Full Spec. Um, 1862 strands for American wire gauge. That's it. And, yeah. You could tell this one looks darker, which is copper. This one's probably coated copper. This one's better. I don't know how many strands it has in here, but I'm gonna put the Memphis in here. This is four gauge. Alright, let's see if we can do it with one hand. Let's like squish it up together. It's kind of poofy from all the use. little strands kind of going like well, I don't know two three but it won't even watch perfect this is true for gauge it's Memphis it's like a hundred bucks for like a few hundred bucks for the Memphis uh, zero gauge but I bought this one because I thought it would be good and well I'm just gonna cut this up. Uh, I'd say it's pretty flexible. See? Well, not too flexible, but I'm kind of using a little force on it. I can tie it not. But well, as you can see, it's not copper. Well, hold on. Let me cut. That shit off. Um, I think I got some somewhere. Right here. Here it is. It's um copper coated. That's for sure. You could totally tell the difference. As you can see, these strands are pushed out because watch. Gonna try the same thing on this one. And like a bunch of it just shows out. So it's bigger than four gauge. That's for sure. But since it's all poofied out and everything, that's why I wanted to cut that side, but whatever. This is from Tsunami. This is zero gauge right here. So I'm going to actually shove this in here. Yeah, it's like a little, little extra. Barely any space. It's like. I say like that much space left, just on top. But you can't see because you know how all this shit popped out. 
but it's like little space left. Barely in. So I would say this is like one gauge or something. And yeah. And this one, this whole ton of space is left. So I'm gonna use this for my big three upgrade, but since it's not copper, it's aluminum, I'm actually gonna just use extra strands, like extra wire of these. I just need my um, fuse fuses to come on the mount, so I can do it. Watch. I did this. It's not, I taped it after I used the uh, heat shrink tubes. And, um, uh, I'm gonna use, I'm gonna use three of these. Since it's not real copper, you know. So I could get pretty good performance out of my, out of my system. Three of these for my power. And somewhere along here it's gonna be cut. To show to put my fuse in. Tits. Well. Alright, and um, I came up with this new idea. Um, here it is. Here it is. Since I ran out of these. Big ones, these are four gauge. I kind of just cut this off and squished it in. I ran out of the four gauge, so what I actually did was I bought eight gauge. Watch where is eight gauge? Eight gauge right there. Well, anyways, I bought eight gauge. I shoved it in, then I soldered it. So like it's like part of it now. Watch. I'm actually pushing out pretty hard. I think Mark is there. See? Pushing pretty hard out. And it's just soldered in. So it's getting as much power as one of these. Four gauge. There's the shrinking tube. I'm ju I just put shrinking tube around it. Heat it up. It's real tight. Leave it like that. I'm gonna use this one for the ground battery to ground. And um, <clears throat> this one too. This one's the same, right? But this is gonna be battery to battery to um, engine block. Yeah. And the same. I'm gonna use three wires. Three wires on. Um, I just need help finding the other one, which is not here. Well, it is, but I just can't find it. But anyways, because I didn't have enough money to buy the super expensive one, Memphis. I bought the cheap one, but I'm using a lot of the cheap one to make, to try, and hopefully it'd be the same as the expensive one. Probably not, but to get the battery the battery to the amplifier I'm actually gonna buy Memphis zero gauge for it because I want the good shit to go to the amplifier and this shit for that and yeah hopefully that was uh, some good tips for you guys for show you guys if you guys could still use the cheap wire and hopefully make it better. All that to uh, zero gauge to make the big three up here. And yeah, I'm gonna use. I'm actually gonna use this too. So when I make the zero gauge, it's gonna have like one of these. Where is it? Like one of these to split out to three to go to one amplifier, the other amplifier, and the other amplifier, but in four gauge because. This only uses four gauge. This one you need four gauge. So 
on this is my little testing system shit to see how my shit works. I'm gonna make like a little build, so hopefully you guys you guys could stay tuned and see what happens if it happens or doesn't. But yeah. Alright. Subscribe, like and comment. Alright. Peace out.